Hi everyone, this will be a quick one because I know you're all pretty sick of my radiation detection experiments but today I finished building a uh, pocket gamma detector that's based on a photodiode BPW34 uh, LM358 amplifier uh, in here there's a PN4117A FET buffering everything <clears throat> hooked it up to one of these cheap little counting modules uh, counting module isn't really fast enough for the peak count rate, but uh, at low counts it, it works fine. There's a, a pulse stretching circuit to, to um, clock it slow enough that it can actually pick it up. I, I did try fiddling with the time constants inside the circuit in here, but uh, didn't have a lot of luck with that. I, I'll have to find out exactly what chip it uses and get some more information on it. But for now it's an indicative counter anyway. Um, let's start with the americium source. As we know, copious alpha emissions, this is an old GM tube here, end window GM tube. For comparison purposes, this is like the gamma only that's coming out the back of the source. They're about 60 keV gammas. These are just on the edge of what this thing can detect. And it does detect them reasonably well. I can adjust the uh, sensitivity level and this is really pushing the detector near its noise floor. There is some temperature um, stability problems because the thing is DC coupled. That's uh, it's easily fixed with a more complicated circuit. But for now I just adjust it so that the um, the level is a little bit higher up. But to, to look at the 60k kV gammas that come out of the americium source you really do have to push the noise floor a bit. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try a slightly stronger source. This is your old mantles, uh, thoriated lantern mantles. For comparison purposes. It's an extended source, so it's not really a fair comparison. The Geiger counter has a big advantage here because it's got a larger capture area, particularly seeing the uh, the emissions can go right through the, the tube wall, whereas the target here is less than 5mm square, so and very thin. So it's doing alright. Alright, let's try a slightly hotter source. In here we've got at the top some uh, thorium nitrate, at the bottom some uranyl nitrate. both of which work quite well. My guess is that the um, the detector is is perhaps even slightly more sensitive than a, than the Geiger Mueller tube for its uh, its volume, but the Geiger Mueller tube is certainly um, uh, I, I suppose about an order of magnitude more sensitive perhaps. Alrighty, let's try the, uh, the thorium rock. It's kind of my gold standard. If you can count this, it's doing alright. Though it is a fairly hot source. For comparison purposes with the Geiger Mule tube, so maybe an order of magnitude to a, a fifth as sensitive um, as the GM tube, but certainly for the, the size and the ruggedness and the low power consumption, it's uh, it's quite a cool little tool. Anyway, I will be uh, posting the circuit diagrams on my website very soon, and uh, maybe playing with a couple more circuit variations to see if I can reduce the power consumption a bit more and uh, make it last on the, uh, the battery a bit longer. It currently pulls about one milliamp. I'm hoping to get that down to below 100 microamperes. Alrighty, thank you very much.